Hello, my name is Alexa Galicia Llamas. I am a student at Satahu High School and I'm taking Sports Medicine 3. For my third project, I am doing motion analysis for a volleyball serve. The client I am working with is Jasmine Bogran Diaz, who is training for a volleyball at South Tahoe High School. This is her first year trying out and is currently training with Coach Goldberg. The first step for the program is setting a goal which Jasmine will make. The second is forming a test to compare with at the end to look for results. The third step is creating a program based on her goal. And finally, I will have her do the same test to look for any progress. Jasmine's goal for the program is to improve on her volleyball serve. Proper serving technique. The first step to a float serve is to keep your weight on the back leg and to keep your feet close together. You're going to try to bring up your arm before you lift the ball as shown in the third picture. Then you're going to lift the ball up rather than toss. Once you lift up the ball, you're going to take a step with your hit. You want to hit the ball as if you're going to give it a high five. Some pointers would be to try to hit the center of the ball with the upper palm of your hand. For Jasmine's test, I had her attempt to hit the ball over the net for a total of 15 times. I had her try 5 times in 4 different distances away from the net, as shown in the picture. For this first video, Jasmine needs to improve on lifting up her arm before lifting up the ball. Same goes for this video, it would help her a lot more if she lifted up her hand that she's hitting the ball with. In this next video, Jasmine should be bringing her arm up to a bend and she should be hitting with the upper palm of her hand rather than where her fingers are which made it sloppy. In this video, you can see how she hit the ball with the upper palm of her hand hitting the center of the ball which really helped it go over the net. In this video, the main room for improvement would be how hard she hits the ball. What Jasmine could do to achieve hitting the ball over the net would be to bring up her arm before lifting the ball and then hitting the ball in the, its center with the upper palm of her hand. I wasn't able to upload all the videos of her hitting the ball, but for the first zone, she made the ball over the net 5 out of 5 times, and for the second zone, she made it 3 out of 5 times, and for the third, she only made it once out of 5 times. For the first week of the program, we worked Thursday through Sunday, and on the second week, we worked Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. For her first warm-up exercises, I had her do six burpees, which work out your whole body. Then I had her do cross-body shoulder stretch th for 30 seconds on each side, which helps stretch the deltoids, rotator cuff, strapezius, teres major, and latissimus dorsi. Next, I had her do 10 scap push-ups, which helps strengthen the muscles around the scapula. Lastly, she did the cat cows 10 times, which helps improve posture and balance. For her first drill exercise, I had her use the technique used for serving. Rather than hitting the ball over the net, I had her hitting the ball on the ground as hard as she can to help her get used to hitting it hard. I had her repeat this for three minutes. For her second drill, I had her aim at a target using the same technique for a total of 50 times. It's recording. Since Jasmine wasn't able to use a net for the final results, I had her aim at a target 5 times in 3 different distances away from it. I was unable to upload the videos, but for the first zone, she made it 5 out of 5 times with a 0% increase based on her first results. On her for her second zone, she made it 4 out of 5 times, making it a 33.3% increase. And then for the third zone, she made it 3 out of 5 times with a 200% increase. Thank you for watching my motion analysis project on Volleyball Serve. If you have any questions, you can email me at 22alexag1125 at ltusd.org.